Hi, my name is Dr. Ian Katz, and I'm just going to use this opportunity to show you why a, a small biopsy of a, a basal cell carcinoma may not be representative of the entire lesion. Here's a small biopsy of sun damaged skin. This is the keratin scale with the epidermis here, and this is the dermis. And you can see how these marked hyaluronization of the uh, dermis consistent with marked cellular damage. And here, right at the edge of the biopsy, is a nodule of basal cell carcinoma, which is very superficial. I'll just go to one of the other sections in the biopsy. Uh, there we go there. Let's get it nice and centered. And in this biopsy, and I'll go high power here, you can see how uh, this is a fairly classic basal cell carcinoma, this peripheral palisading of basaloid cells with some uh, disorganization in the stroma. And there's a little bit of early clefting in the biopsy. So the report of this was a superficial basal cell carcinoma within markedly sun damaged skin. Unfortunately, with the um, with the excision, and this was on a uh, nose of a 55 year old gentleman, we found that there were actual nodules of uh, basal cell carcinoma extending to at least one millimeter deep within the excision. As you can see from here, these are clusters of basal cell carcinoma with peripheral palisading. These are some adnexal structures here. Well, that may be basal cell carcinoma. This is a hair follicle here, and actually, even at the one um, at the one margin of one of the pieces, and let me just get that centered. You can see that these basal cell carcinoma, the carcinoma at the margin, and some sort of infiltrating process here. And if you go into that in higher power, you can actually see that there's a morphico infiltrating basal cell carcinoma at the margin in this area. I'll just uh, highlight that in a high power, here we go, get that into focus. And here we can see this more infiltrating BCC at the margin. This blue ink is an ink that we use in the lab to de delineate a true resection margin and not something that's fragmented. So unfortunately in this patient, the biopsy showed a superficial basal cell carcinoma, but the wider excision showed a nodular and focal, focally morphic basal cell carcinoma, which is even at margins. And this patient obviously needs further, further treatment. I use this case to illustrate the fact that uh, original small biopsies of uh, lesions, particularly basal cell carcinomas, may not uh, show representative areas of the entire lesion. And uh, some uh, pathologists may even call different types of uh, basal cell carcinomas uh, different subtypes. Uh, thanks for listening to me.